So let's go back on, let, I'm, to do that, I'm gonna, let's say, I'm gonna leave here. I'm gonna say, okay, I'm not gonna finish it yet. I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna leave uh, for now. So let's just go over here. I'm just gonna close it out. It's already saved. I'm gonna go back into my accounting and I'm gonna go into, where's my other window? I'm gonna go into the accounting and then the chart of accounts. And if you're in the bookkeeping view, by the way, it's under, or the business view, by the way, it's under bookkeeping and then the chart of accounts. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into my register again. So we're gonna make changes to the register. So we're gonna view the register. And so if I, if I look at the detail in here, at the beginning of January, I entered that 25,000. What I'd like to do is change that to 30,000, but also enter the 5,000 in the form of those two checks. So it nets back out to the same 25,000. It's just broken out. So I have like an audit trail so I can see what actually happened. So I want to be careful doing this, but I, I, it should be okay to do because I'm going to enter this to opening balance equity. And then I'm going to enter two checks that are also going to go to opening balance equity. So let me, let me enter the, I'll enter the checks first. So I'll go up top and I'll say new, and let's say this is going to be, let's call it an expense form. It's going to be a decrease. I'm going to put it in there as of 12, uh, 31, two, two. Now I could enter it as of the date that these checks were actually written by looking at my prior accounting system and see when I wrote it. But you can also just, maybe it would be best just to enter it there. You, I mean, either method, there's pros and cons, entering it as of 1231 or the date the check was written. Because in my mind, you could go back to the prior accounting system if you needed to kind of double check that check. I just want to know where to go or what the difference is caused from in the current accounting system. Okay, and then we got who the check was written to. I'm going to say it's going to be Epiphone. Now that's the person that we buy our equipment from. So that I'm going to say prior period check in the memo. So you would think that it would have been an increase to, and this is for 4,000, was it? 4,000. You would think that it would have been for inventory that we purchased. Now I'm not going to record the other side to inventory though, because I already entered the beginning balances properly for inventory. So this is just a, a reference to tell me that this was an outstanding check from the prior accounting system. And so instead of going to the inventory account, I'm just going to go to the opening balance equity account, the same account that I'm going to net out when I change the opening balance, beginning balance in the checking account account too, because I'm not trying to change any of the opening balances. I already have those correct. I'm just trying to break out the details so I can see this was from an actual check in the prior accounting system. If I need more detail about that actual check, I would go to the prior accounting system. Now, sometimes it might be not going to inventory, but an expense account. If it were going to an expense account, I could just enter it to that expense account and it would net out to an equity account because it would be entered as of the prior period and roll into equity. But still, I, I would still even then rather it net out to opening balance equity because I already figured out all my beginning balances last time. I don't want to mess anything else up. I just want to break out the checks from the other opening balances. So I'm going to put it into the beginning balance equity. Beginning, isn't that what it's called? What do they call it these days? Did you change the name of the stuff? Opening balance equity. Let's do opening balance equity. Oh, now it's trying to do that. It's going to be opening balance equity. Okay. So I think that's good. I think that's MUI B to the end. So let's save it. And then if I see what happened by going to the tab to the right and then run it and then go into the cash account, then I'm going to go down and say, so now I've entered this as of the end of 12312322. Run it. Okay, so now we've got this this amount there that's part of part of the cash account let's do it for the other one too and i'm going to go back to the tab to the left and i'm going to do it on the same date 12 31 and i'm going to say that this one was for gibson 
USA. So that's that's who we paid with that check. I'm gonna say this is a prior period check. And I'm gonna say it was for $1,000 as we can see here. So that's that $1,000, okay? And so I'm gonna say this is gonna also go to the beginning balance. Beginning, opening. Man, I swear they changed that back and forth between opening and beginning balance, but whatever. So we'll put it into there and then save it. So there we have it. So let's go back to the balance sheet and let's run this. Let's 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 run this for. Uh, could I? Well, I wonder if they'll let me go from uh, 12, 01, 20, 22, 12, 01, 22, and then run it month by month. There yeah, they do. That's nice. So now I've got my beginning balances at 20,000 and the other side went to the uh, opening balance, opening balance equity. So I, now I've, I'm off in opening balance equity by the 5,000 and I'm going to change that by just adjusting that beginning balance entry, which was, which was the 25,000. I'm going to change that to 30,000. So everything should be back in alignment. So I'm gonna go back into the first tab. You could do it in the register here and find that transaction, but it might it might just be, so there it is. Or I could just go into this transaction and say, okay, let's go into here and drill down on it and say the, the beginning balance, there it is. There's the deposit, 25,000. Let's go into that and let's just make it, let's make it, 30,000. All right. And so now I'm going to save and close it. Transactions are editing has been. So I'm going to save that. It's not reconciled yet. I'm going to scroll up. All right. So now we should be good to go. Now I can go back into my reconciliation, open the hand boogie and see if this makes, uh, see if this makes sense, which I'm hoping it does. Accounting, reconcile, closing the hand boogie checking account resume we shall resume us at once so now i've got the thirty thousand makes sense and i've got these two to check off so now i'm just going to check these two off and we're back in balance again so now if i check my numbers i've got thirty thousand up top ties out to the thirty thousand here i've got the decreases which are one 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 eight two nine one 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 eight two nine let me know if I'm getting anything wrong due to get, seeing numbers back. So I got the 143.07080, 143.07085, uh, yeah. And so that ties out to zero. And so now everything works out perfectly because I because it ties out the way we would expect it to work. And uh, and then we we should be good to go and we don't have that strange weirdness. Now you still could have the strange weirdness where like this beginning balance wasn't showing up here, but it was down here as a deposit. In that case, you wouldn't have the 30,000 here. You would just have the deposits increased by 30,000. You could just check it off. You'd still be in balance. Not a big deal. Just note it out on your bank uh, reconciliation report that that's the case and you're good going forward. This is at zero. That's where we want it to be.